Hi, I'm Margo. I'm from Newton, Massachusetts. And my question is, at any point, did you experience any doubts that you'd be able to achieve what you have today? <laughs> yes, Margo. <laughs> I absolutely had doubts. I used to tell my mentees that um, for all of us who have a resume or a CV of all of our successes, we should keep a shadow resume of all of our failures. Because people do not realize that in order to get to these positions, you have to fail a lot. And so I've had plenty. I remember, distinctly remember a phone call in medical school where I, I was certain I was gonna fail my microbiology exam. I was certain of it. And I was calling my parents wondering how they were gonna tell their friends that I failed my microbiology exam. And now I'm an infectious disease doctor. So what I would say is don't let those doubts get in your way. Hi, Dr. Walensky. I'm Dima from Springfield, Virginia. And I wanted to ask if there was ever a time you wished you had chosen a different career path. And how did you handle these thoughts or what changed your mind? Dima, that's a great question. I um, I can honestly tell you I have had some really low lows. I've had um, a lot of times when I had self-doubt, when I didn't know if I had what it took to make it, where um, I had a paper or a grant rejected. But I never, never thought that I had chosen the wrong field because um, in what I do, um, I get to help people every single day, um, whether it's in patient care or at a population level or using science tools and information to improve the well-being of people. And that's really what motivated me. I never doubted what I was doing, um, but, but that doesn't mean that it hasn't been a hard path along the way. Hi, I'm Valerie from Livingston High School in Livingston, New Jersey. And my question for Dr. Walensky is, is it possible to do something in epidemiology if you're not good in STEM? Valerie, that's a great question. There are so many opportunities to work in medicine and in public health that aren't quantitative. There's a lot of qualitative interviewing. There's a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations, community-based interactions, where what we really need is people who can talk to people, people who can relate to people, people who can engage people in care um, to be trusted messengers. Yes, I think that there is plenty of opportunity in public health, even if you didn't get an A-plus on your calculus test. Hi, I'm Sarah Laughlin. I'm from Newton, Massachusetts, and I go to Newton South High School. Dr. Walensky, what would you say to a young girl who had any doubts in her capabilities? Sarah, I would say, um, you know, go to your mentors, go to others, talk to people because your self-doubts can be woven into incredible skill sets. Pursue those skill sets um, and don't let your self-doubts get in the way of what you want to pursue. We all have had them.